we're going to make a Valentine succulent or cactus today. We're going to do our drawing, do a little bit of oil pastel coloring, and then we'll use a little bit of uh, pink and red paint to make it look kind of Valentine's like. So we're going to start off by drawing our cup first. So we're going to start with the top of the cup, which is kind of a U shape. So right in the middle of your paper, we're going to draw a nice big U shape. Then we're going to come down from both sides of the cup, go down and in a little bit, and at the very bottom we're going to do another U shape, a little bit smaller, but the same shape as the top one. And then we're going to add the handle, which is just a big backwards C shape, a big one, and then we'll go in and make a smaller one on the inside. That's our handle. Okay, let's make our cactus. It's just a big, huge rainbow shape. So we're gonna start at the edge of our cup. We're gonna go up, 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 almost to the top, not all the way, and then back down to the other side of our cup. And then we're gonna put our lines in our cactus. So we're gonna start at the top, come down and to the left till we touch our cup. Then we're going to go to the other side, down into our cup, and then right in the middle, just a line straight down. And a lot of these cactuses have a little flower on top, so if you want to add a little flower on top, you can. And then we want to add our little prickly needles. So we're just going to put little, little three lines at a time all the way around our cactus. Okay, that is our cactus. Let's put our horizon line on there to show where our wall and our table are. So when we know we're drawing our horizon line, we get to our art, to our cactus, we'll stop and go to the other side. So I'm gonna draw across till I get to my cup, stop, go to the other side, and continue drawing my line. All right, let's have some fun with it and add some decorations to this. So let's start with our cup. Let's put a big, heart shape in the middle of our cup. Nice and neat. And if you want, you can put a few big and small ones up at the top of your art. Just a couple big and small. It's up to you. And then we want to decorate our table with some of the lines that Larry the Line has taught us. So I used zigzag lines. Uh, you don't have to do that. You could do a checkerboard if you want or maybe just add stripes or polka dots if you want um, but you can do whichever one you want I'm gonna add um, zigzag lines on mine and we get to our cup we stop go to the other side and continue drawing all right so I'm just gonna do some stripes of zigzag lines do the best you can. You do not have to do zigzag lines. You can do something else. Okay, we're done with that. We'll put that away. Um, I'm gonna get out my green oil pastels. We're gonna get two. We're gonna use a light one and a dark one, and we're gonna rotate them. So we're gonna start on our cactus. We're gonna paint one stripe with the light color. So I'm gonna do a light one. And then skip over and do the next one with the dark color. Try to stay away from your black because if you get too close to it, it will smear and look kind of messy. Just do the best you can. All right, we'll go back to our light one. And then last, our dark one again. Okay, now we're gonna paint the rest of this. Now we're gonna, we got four colors of our paint. We've got a red, a neon red, uh, a neon light pink, and a neon dark pink. You can use whatever colors you want. You can also leave some white. You don't have to paint everything. Um, so I'm going to start and just start picking some stuff and painting it. I'm going to leave my wall white, um, but I'm going to paint my cup a color. Let's 
stay inside your lines. I think I'm going to go up to the top and maybe paint that flower the same color. Now when we switch colors, what do we do? Wash our brush, stir it like hot soup, rub our drippy off on the edge before we use our next color. So I think I'll paint my heart red. Maybe a couple of these hearts red too. Wash my brush. Then I think I'll paint my one of my zigzags a dark pink. I think I'll do every other one like a stripe. I'll paint this one, then I'll go to the next one and paint it. Or I'll skip one and then go to the next one. Stay in your lines, take your time. And again, you do not have to paint the whole picture. You can leave some white. I'm going to leave my wall white. And the ones that I haven't painted, uh, I'm going to go back to my stripes here and do the other one with the light pink. What do I do with my brush first? Wash it. And now I'm going to do my light pink. I'm just going to quickly put this in there, the light coat. Don't forget that spot in your uh, cup handle. Okay, that's also the table. And then the bottom stripe here, finish that off. I got a couple more hearts up there at the top. I think I'll paint those with the light pink too. And then we'll take this to the drying rack and let it dry. Cute little Valentine succulent. Draw these Valentine succulents today or cactus. Uh, we're going to use some lines that Larry the Line taught us. We're going to use our oil pastels to start. And we're going to start with our vase or our uh, pot that's holding our flat our cactus and we're going to start in the middle of our page and draw a big long oval shape and then we're going to come down with just a big u shape like a cup all right so our cactus or succulent today is going to be a big heart just for fun since it's valentine's day so let's go up to the middle like a heart and then back down till we touch the edge of our cup again, just like that. And I'm going to put a big old heart in the middle of my cactus since it's Valentine's. And let's add some stripes to our cactus. We're going to start right in the middle and just do a line straight down. Then go back to that middle spot. And we're going to go out and straight down. Same thing on the other side out and straight down all right one more on each side we're gonna go back to that same spot we're gonna go up and right in between and back down and to the other spot now don't, we don't want to hit our our heart there so let's go up and around that heart and back down all right let's add our horizon line across our paper to show where our table and our our wall is um, but we don't want to draw on our succulent pot. So let's start on one side, go across till we get to the other side, stop, lift up, go to the other side, and continue going. All right, let's decorate our pot. So I'm going to put a big heart in the middle of my pot. And maybe, maybe a polka dot on each side. If you want to add more hearts, you can. You don't have to do it like mine. And then on my pot, I'm going to add some more polka dots up here. I just want some polka dots. I think it'd be so cute. Some of them are going to be circles. Some of them are going to be rainbow shapes because some of them are hidden. All right, there's my polka dots. And let's go up to our wall here and let's just add some more hearts. Okay, maybe this one has uh, like a sunshine around it. Come down here and add two. 
with sunshine around it. You don't have to do the same thing. You can put several hearts, little ones, big ones, do whatever you think. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna decorate our table. And you have lots of options. You can do zigzag lines. You can do, uh, maybe you make a checkerboard like this, which we know is stripes across and stripes down. Super simple. Uh, or maybe just stripes. I'm gonna do stripes going across. So, we're gonna start over here. You do not have to do this. You can decorate yours however you want. So I'm gonna start here, go across till I get to my cup, lift up, go to the other side, and keep going. I'm gonna space these the same, make them look even, and I'm gonna keep going all the way to the bottom of my page. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take our oil pastels now and we're gonna color our cactus so we're gonna rotate between light dark light dark so I'm gonna start with my dark one here or my light one I'm sorry and I'm gonna quickly color my cactus in try to stay away from the outside black line because if you get really close to that line or on top of it it starts to smear black it doesn't look real good and I'll switch to my dark one Then I'll switch back to my light one. And then dark again. And light again. I want to color on my heart. I'm going to paint that here in a little bit. And last but not least, let's do that dark one again. And then we are done with our oil pastels. You can put those away. And we're gonna paint the rest of this for fun. So you've got four colors. You've got two reds, a light, a neon red, a dark red, and two pinks, a neon pink and a darker pink. And we and you can also leave some white. You don't have to paint everything. You can leave some items white on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. Uh, I think I'm gonna paint my wall using my red. I'm going to quickly go around and paint my wall. Take your time on this. You don't have to rush it. Try to make everything really nice and neat and even. And while I've got my red out, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the heart that's in the middle of my cup. I think that might be kind of cute to make that a color as well. I'll do it red. All right, so we make sure we wash our brush before we switch colors. I'm gonna switch to the neon red. And I'm gonna make my polka dots inside of my thing red, neon red. And maybe my heart that's on my cactus. Make that neon red too. And maybe I'll do every other stripe. Like I'll do. We'll do a stripe, then skip a stripe. And I'm going to leave that one white. Like that one's just going to stay white. Wash my brush, then I think I'll do uh, my cup pink. And maybe a 
big heart up here, pink, maybe the little one. Wash my brush. Last but not least, I think I'll do the dark pink on this circle. Oh, I spilt it. And this big heart. And I think I'll leave the rest white because I like the way that looks. Then we'll take it to the drying room. We're going to draw this cute valentine succulent or cactus today. <clears throat> we're going to use our oil pastels. And then we will do a little painting on it at the end. Um, so we're going to start off by drawing our pot first. We're going to go right in the middle. We're going to draw kind of an oval, maybe sort of a rectangle oval. It's got curved corners, right? Right in the middle. And then we're going to come down on both sides and in a little bit to make the bottom of our pot. Just do the best you can. And then we're going to do an upside down rainbow or a U shape to connect the bottom. So let's draw our cactus now. So we're going to start right in the middle here and draw a big, huge rainbow shape. We're going to go up and out, round, 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 and then back in. Okay, got up a horseshoe. And we're going to do the little arms on the cactus on each side. So we're going to go to the side, come out, go up, round, and then back in. Does not have to be perfect, just do the best you can. Same thing on the other side, up, around. The cactuses don't all look the same, so if yours doesn't look like mine, that's okay. Since it's for Valentine's, I thought it'd be cute to put a big heart in the middle of my cactus. All right, let's add the uh, lines on our cactus. So we're gonna start right in the middle, go straight down all the way to our pot. Don't draw on your heart though. And then we're gonna have some going off each side. So go back to the middle. Go down in the middle, down, 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 till you get your heart, stop, go to the other side, go all the way to your pot. Same thing going the other way. Go back to the middle and go to your left. And we're gonna have two lines in the middle of our arms. Go in the middle and follow your arm down to the side. Same thing. Two lines on the other side. Good job. Let's add our little prickly needles on our cactus. We're going to do three. Just go around and put three little lines coming out of your cactus to be the little prickly needles. Okay. And we're going to do our horizon line. We know when we draw that horizon line, we go across, but we do not draw on our pot. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go, 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 stop, lift up, go to the other side, and draw the rest of the way. If you want to decorate your pot, you can. Maybe you do uh, some hearts up here if you want, since it's Valentine's, or a big heart on your pot, or maybe you do some polka dots. You do not have to do this. You can do something different. Maybe you've got stripes on yours. Maybe you've got hearts on yours. It is up to you. All right, we're going to add a few hearts up in our sky or on our wall here. Some little small ones next to some big ones. Maybe you do really big ones with little sunshines around it. Up to you. Now we're going to decorate our table. And you can decorate yours however you want. You can do zigzag lines, wavy lines, polka dots, hearts, stripes, maybe a checkerboard. Uh, I think I'll do a checkerboard. So do a checkerboard we go. A line straight across line straight across and then when we go back and do lines going down okay that makes a checkerboard pattern we don't draw on our plant or our pot all right so we're going to get our green oil pastels out we've got a dark one and a light one and we're going to rotate coloring these uh, back and forth with different colors. So we're going to start with our green. We're going to quickly color one stripe green, a light dark green, then switch to our light green. Try to stay away from your black outline because it will smear a little bit if you get too close. So just try to be careful. If it smears a little, that's okay. Back to my light. And dark. down kind of hard. We want it nice and bright green. Switch to my dot light. I 
dark again. Light again. Dark. And light again. Okay, we put our old pastels away. We're done with that. Uh, we're actually going to paint this now uh, using, we've got two reds, a dark red and a neon red, and two pinks, uh, a darker pink and a neon pink. And you can also leave some spots white, which is good. Um, I'm going to start by doing my checkerboard first. I'm going to use red. And I'm going to paint each, uh, every other spot red, okay? But I'm going to go back and forth. So I'm going to do one and then move over and do another. So it's back and forth. And this is how I'm going to paint my checkerboard to make it look like a checkerboard. Try not to paint two right next to each other the same color. Because if you do, it won't look like a checkerboard. Put your red on here real quick. Try to stay in your lines the best you can. I think I'll leave the other ones white. Kind of looks like a picnic tape. And then while I have my red out, I might as well go up and maybe add some red onto this heart if I want. Maybe I paint the hearts in here red. I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to go and choose a different color. Um, I think I'll do my wall in the light pink. So I'm going to just kind of quickly go through and do my wall super fast. Just spread it out. Try to make it e nice and even. Stay in your lines. Don't bled on me. pink out maybe I'll do um, the polka dots in my pot maybe I'll do those in this pink yeah I'll do my polka dots these pink you can do yours whatever color you want when you change colors though make sure we wash our brush and then I'm gonna switch to this uh, neon red which kind of has an orangey look to it I think I'll do my pot in this orangey red. Maybe I do a couple of the hearts at the top in this same red. And I think I'll leave the rest white because I like the way that looks just like that. I think I'll leave it white. All right. That's our cute Valentine.